Hey guys, uh, back to you real quick on this uh, F-350 of mine. Just uh, went ahead and did some mud flaps on it. Don't especially like the looks of them, but uh, they definitely they definitely save your paint, um, keep your truck a little cleaner. And um, after after having my Ranger for let's see, I had my Ford Ranger. I think I put about four thousand miles on it, and uh, if I still had it, I'd show you. But I had quite a bit of pitting right here uh, already. And we do live on a gravel road, but I try to go real slow on it. And uh, we're doing some road construction. And it just didn't take much to, to pit it up. And, of course, anybody knows you hit any mud or anything, it just gets splattered all over the side. So I decided, you know, to try to protect this truck a little bit better. Um, there's several different types of mud flaps, as you'll see when you look. Uh, and some of them I don't like the looks of. Some of them are real expensive there was some nice nice rubber ones that, that hung down and then they had a plate here you could kind of customize the plate that looked pretty good but uh they were real expensive and then then some of these flaps like this this edge here sticks out i don't like the looks of of i didn't like the looks of it because it it just stuck out so much i kind of like um you know not something that sticks out it bulges out so much on the side so Anyway, I want to try to give give you a good idea of what these weather techs look like. I think uh, they turned out real good. I think they're going to protect good. All right. I can even go with a little bit wider tire, and they'll still add they'll still have good protection. Uh, they're real solid, and there's only two these back ones. There's only um, you you know pop the little plastic thing out, and you put your screw in there. And then some spacers and that there and that's that's all you do uh, pretty easy to put on um, they're on there good and like I said um, I don't feel that they intrude out too much I think I think they don't look uh, look terrible look like and these were real easy to install too um, this little locking device makes it pretty easy one thing I will say is is uh, there was some complaints on the weather techs that they didn't come with longer screws or bolts for the back um, but apparently they fixed that because I got a kit that come with different bolts it worked uh, the only problem I had is they didn't come with these little screws. Uh, you use the factory ones, and they were very difficult to get in. It really need to be. It really helped to have these. Uh, I say about a quarter inch, half an inch longer, because uh, you can make them work, but it's very difficult, and it took me a lot of time to finally get um, the other side. Uh, the pressure enough. It's just it was it was a real pain, but. Uh, other than that, I mean, they, they did go on. Like I said, if you could get some longer screws, uh, if WeatherTech would would provide some longer screws there, these would be a piece of cake to put on. And uh, I think they're going to do. I think they're going to do real, real well. So they're real solid. You know, they're, these are not coming off. And and again, I don't feel that these intrude out. They kind of kind of fit the. The lines pretty well and they don't they don't stick out and look look terribly terribly bad so anyway nothing nothing too impressive but I thought I would give you all a little rundown on these so anyway catch you guys later